logic, also known as Boolean algebra, is a system of logic that deals with the manipulation of binary values. It is named after its developer, George Boole, a 19th century mathematician and philosopher. Boole is famous for combining algebra with traditional logic. The system he created is elegant and simple. Because of its simplicity, Boolean logic can be applied to logical arguments that range in complexity. There are only two values in Boolean logic, true or false. There are three basic operations in Boolean logic, and, or, and not. Boolean logic treats abstract statements as variables. Typically these statements are called P and Q. The variables can hold only two values, true or false, on or off, zero or one. Since Boolean logic is fundamentally concerned with binary values, we can see how important it is to the development of computers and electronics. Truth tables are tools for displaying Boolean logic in action. The columns to the left are the facts we start with. The right column shows the conclusion we yield from the given facts. By themselves, P and Q are each simple logical statements. It doesn't matter what they are. For example, P could be 2 plus 2 or, the apple is red, for all we know. What matters is the binary value of true or false. Since P and Q express purely abstract ideas, it's possible to say that they are either exactly true or false. When P and Q are connected by operators, the result is a compound statement. Like its simpler components, the only value the compound statement can hold is true or false. Compound statements dealing with D and symbol are called intersections. The statement, P and Q is true, is only true if both P and Q are true. Otherwise, the intersection is false. Compound statements dealing with the or symbol are called unions. At least one variable has to be true in order for the statement, P or Q is true, to be true. Compound statements dealing with the not symbol are sometimes called inversions. Not P is the opposite of P. Whenever P is true, the inverse of P is false. In logic, there is a special kind of operator known as the implication arrow. The compound statement is read as, P implies Q. In other words, if P is true, then, by implication, Q is also true. As long as P is true, Q must always be true in order for the compound statement to be true. Otherwise, the statement, P implies Q, is false. If P is not true, then Q is unrelated to P. The implication is only true if P is true. Otherwise, there is no implication and anything goes. Remember, if fact P is false, disregard the conclusion Q, since it is true that the conclusion is unrelated to the facts. As you can see, this has applications beyond just mathematics. In the real world, a conclusion based on false evidence is probably false. Thanks for watching.